just coming out just have a little bit of breakfast Saturday morning pre-game when Lee um, asked if I lived out in the bush in Australia he was sort of close to the mark out here uh, every couple of weeks about 200 kilometers from the city so um, when I'm at home in the unit I'll watch it I'll watch the the games through the TV streaming through the internet and then here I'll watch it yeah on my laptop streaming through yeah the internet so we don't have satellite um, satellite uh, dishes on the top of the houses we stream everything through the internet which can be good and can be bad depending on where you're located okay just a quick review of the game um, well in other news we've got two former managers back in the Premier League Allardyce and Pardew so they're gonna add a bit more spice to the upcoming games that we have with those teams and um, yeah wanted to know what uh, people think of that I think uh, you know it's always good to come up against uh, previous managers and previous players it just adds that little bit extra so not sure if it's the right choice for both of those teams those particular managers but anyway it's got nothing to do with us we're just after uh, as many points as we can against those teams so against Chelsea um, obviously we want to keep it as tight as we can um, keep yeah, keep scrapping for the ball keep it keep it tight and maybe catch them on the, the counter-attack catch them on the break it's a it's a good way of, of going to these places just keep it solid keep it tight and I think we have enough going forward in attack to to worry them if we we say so stay solid and, and maybe use the counter-attack but I think Chelsea just had way too much for us going forward a bit like Man United did and um, unfortunately predicting probably a 3-1 uh, defeat when we do that all right see ya After the nightmare of last night, Rafa deployed five at the back with Matt Ritchie as a some sort of left wing back, um, and yeah, sort of failed miserably, didn't it? They got him behind him. Uh, he didn't track their runs, and he was caught sort of in between no man's land of being too far forward or not further enough back, and not not sure if he should go beyond the halfway um, halfway line. So. Yeah, I, I predicted 3-1, so I got the prediction right. But again, I think it's about how you lose, and we lost pretty comprehensively. I know Chelsea have world-class players, as Lead mentioned, and we can go on about. But for me, uh, Rafa got his tactics wrong. I, I think uh, if you're going to go super, super defensive and then play Dwight Gale, how can that work? You've got no outlet at all, and then you're playing a guy like Mighty Army, probably picked because of his physicality and his size, but how many times was he dispossessed um, just on the ball? How, how many times couldn't he pick a pass out? How many times did he lose the ball? Just lazy, just lazy play. Um, I mean, positive to come out of it, I think, was Murphy. Went on some good runs. 
bit his man um, his final ball is a lot better than Atsu's so I'm hoping that he will keep Atsu out of the team um, Atsu is one of Rafa's favourites so that probably won't be the case but uh, I believe that Murphy's final ball is 100% better than Atsu Atsu's got a bit more pace I know what Rainbow thinks about it just not bothered whatsoever so signing off from Cloudy Overcast Queensland see you next time